Right, welcome to another spontaneous uh, ramblings from Return of the Nerd. Hit the, 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 the subscribe button, otherwise um, I shall force choke you. Uh, so today, Queenie was very busy. Um, she actually drove to the warehouse to pick up all the stuff by herself. Show your biceps in the next video. Um, <clears throat> we've got a lot of Star Wars, so if you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to be very happy today. Uh, G.I. Joe is over here. Uh, small, but powerful, okay? And we'll be talking about what we've got in store. And I've got a little surprise for you, okay? Um, keep calm there, Mr. Pimp. All right, let's go through Star Wars first, okay? So we've got a restock of the old Master Maul, all right? And um, one of the collectors was complaining about his uh, shoulder. shoulder pad. And I'm pretty sure that they're all the same. Um, it's just, we've got this new rotating, you know, this part here is on, like on a ring on his shoulder. So it actually moves around like that. Whereas before it was just stuck in one position. So that I'm afraid they're all the same. So there's no point in you returning Darth Maul and saying, can I have another one? Can I have another one? Can I have another one? Because you're not going to get another one. I dropped my knife. Wait a minute. Let me pick that. Let me just pick up my, um, my weapon. Wait. And, uh, oh yeah. And there's another thing that, that I'm not doing. Okay. Um, someone asked me, um, hey, the, the boxes, there's no windows and that's, and I really want, and I really want to see the, the face because, because some of them, the eyes are not correct and they're pointing in the wrong direction or there might be some problem with the hair or the nose. And, uh, so how can I solve this problem? And I said, you will have to wait for the windows to be put back in again. Um, and then... He started complaining and saying, yeah, but you have to see it from my point of view. I really care about the face. Um, so what can I do? Uh, this kind of, uh, this is a, like a, it's not really even a question. It's like you're just going around in a circle and disappearing up your own backside. Like, okay, I'm not going to open an action figure and then take pictures of the face, send them to you. And then you say, no, nah, I don't like that one. Show me another one. Do you think I'm a fucking moron? All right, so if anyone, like, just stop with that shit, all right? Because that ain't going to happen. When the windows get put back in, of course, I will offer this service. I will take pictures of them. And you, and some people, you know, because they're very picky about the, um, the face sculpts, I will gladly take pictures, A, B, C, D, pick one. And they circle and go, I like this one. I'll go, that's yours. But asking me to open a box, have you lost your mind? Okay, right, back to the show. Right, so we've got more Darth Maul. Um, <clears throat> this one here is Jesse. So we've got some more Jesse in. And imposter! There's an imposter. Who's this? Five. No, this is fives. Okay, this guy here is fives. Is it? <laughs> yes, it is. It's hard to tell unless you like really, really nerdy about the clone troopers. Uh, this is fives. I'm not going to take him out because otherwise I'm worried that I won't have enough to give to the customers because they've already been pre-ordered. This oh. is fives. He is... Jesse. No. Do ARC. You, do you know your shit? This is... ARC trooper. Yes, he is an ARC trooper, the 501st. This is Echo, all right? That's just a little trick there to... Oh. All right, you failed. You failed again. Right, let's oh, move on. Look at all the same. They look all the same, don't they? Well, that's because they're clones, Queenie. So the next one is we got the Return of the Jedi, the final wave, the third wave, whatever you want to call it. Um, we've got the Darth Vader, and I'm so happy that Hasbro put two of these in one case. Everyone Thank you. Everyone want to. Yeah, well, everyone, you, you can't, you, I'm going to probably limit you to one per person. All right, so Vader and his face sculpt looks like Sebastian Shaw. Thank you very much. Original trilogy, respect there. Not having any of this Christian Haydenson malarkey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, and then on, you've got, let me show you the rest of them. All right, let me put these down. R2-D2, a so lot of tools. Yeah, like R2-D2's got lots of little tools, which is normal because I think the original version he did as well. But look at the size difference between these two. This is the Dagobah system R2, and this is the new one. So they've got the scale absolutely correct. I love it. This is lovely. Um, not sure about the card back, though, because it says Return of the Jedi, but correct me if I'm wrong, but this... The picture here is from The Empire Strikes Back, but I could be wrong. Anyway, well, let's have a look at the next one. Luke uh, with his white flap, and uh, he's about to confront the Emperor and Vader. That's a pretty nice figure we got there. It looks like the same uh, face sculpt that was used earlier on this year. We've had a couple of Lukes come out in 2023. And uh, I've liked all of them, actually, so far. Really good. And then we've got... Is it just four? So one, two, oh, three. Yeah. And then the last one is... I think most people already have this guy. But, you know, again, if you wanted to... If you're that type of collector that likes to have the card backs on the wall, you've got the Royal Guard. Really, really nice. Okay, so that's that whole wave. Um, I'm just wondering... Is that it now for Return of the Jedi for the celebration? It's the 40th anniversary. Um, I know that um, Jabba the Hutt, we've oh. got the TVC, um, uh, I think Jabba the Hutt comes with the platform, and then you slot that into Bib Fortuna's throne room. Uh, the Black Series, also Jabba the Hutt, question mark, not sure. So I don't know, towards the end of the year, because it's weird, because it's only... Uh, September right mm. so we got September October November there's like four more months left of this year so will we get any more convention or any more uh, Hasbro exclusives for the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary don't know right you can put that in the comment section right so let's go to what should we do next is that all the black series we've covered yeah oh no we just have to I just have to remind you that we have these two in stock as well um, we've got <clears throat> the six pack for the retro collection and we've also got the uh, Doc Ondor from Galaxy's Edge and um, we've got Hasbro had a live stream I didn't watch it I was too busy um, but uh, apparently um, the hammerhead is coming I think that was like a pipeline reveal at the end they said hammerhead and there was another one so I was like really excited about that um, so now they've got the body, they've got the mold, so now we can pump out all the all the uh, the hammerhead action figures. They're so good. <laughs> um, yeah, the retro collection for Return of the Jedi. Unfortunately, the Hasbro here in this region uh, they don't want to order that, which I'm not very happy about. But say la vie. Um, so let's move on to 3.75, shall we? All right, let's go down to here. Right, so we've got more of. Because people are still looking out for the uh, the Boba Fett, the comic art edition. Okay, so we've got more of this guy. We also got more of the speeder bike from The Mandalorian. The white speeder bike. And he's got Grogu, you know, he punches him in the head, which I think is, is not okay. Um, so we sold out very quickly of these. These were way more popular than the Return of the Jedi... Um, the Endor speeder bikes, these are way more popular. So we've got more of those. And over here, we've got the Deluxe. Now, people were asking me last week about uh, Paz Vizsla. Yes, we still do have a few cases, all right? And he still is pretty popular. Um, but now that we've got like one, two, three, the most popular has to be this one. Because Luke, our Lukes have already sold out. Luke and baby Gro Grogu, and, and uh, he's training. The, these ones I've sold so many, I've lost count. Um, so we're waiting now for the Black Cassantan to come in. And then the, the question, the, 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 the one, the hot topic is um, Sabine Wren with the Loth, the Loth Cat. Is it Loth or Loth? Anyway, so there's five deluxes, right? And uh, we asked... Hasbro, Queenie did, and because we were like, it's not on the list, it's not on the list, and uh, so why, where is, you know, can you at least give us a month? When is it going to come out? So 
I, th I just think that uh, Sabine Wren is one of those figures that could just drop at any time. Like literally could drop tomorrow and just go, boom, it's there, come and pick it up. And we're like, okay then, you know? So it's kind of weird because then you don't have any any say in how many you want because you can't pre-order it. It's just, well, this is how many we've got, you know, and that's that's how many we're giving you. So I feel like it's a little bit weird when they, when they I don't like it when Hasbro just suddenly drop stuff because it's, you're unprepared uh, you haven't primed the customer. You haven't, you haven't primed the collector. Also, you yourself, you, you have cash flow, and now you have to like quickly scramble, get your money together, figure out how many you need, and determine the demand, and uh, and then you could end up with just a few cases. And I think it's not a good way to do business. Very disorganized. The uh, the way that wholesalers do do uh, uh, Hasbro and wholesale Hasbro and the wholesalers, I think the communication is a bit <clears throat> could be better. Surely you can do better. <clears throat> right, so let's move on to uh, the new reveal today, which is we got the Tuscan Raider four pack. Very very happy about that. Uh, I'm not going to open it again because I've already had a lot of customers prepay, and so I don't want to have a shortfall. That's the worst thing ever for my business is when I, I order, I get my orders cut and people have already paid me and then I don't have enough. It's, that really gets under my fucking skin, okay? So I don't, like, I will forego for my own collection. There's no way I'm going to open any of these because I know how hot they are, right? These are, Queenie, these are more expensive than the 212 or about the same price. I need to check. Or you need to check. You need to do your homework. <laughs> These are beautiful because they've all got soft goods. I think all four figures. So mm. I really want one for myself. Uh, this one is um, this one is the um, the one point seven five, or is it the zero point seven five, with no articulation? <laughs> and how about this? Let's celebrate Tuscan Raiders. How about that? Beautiful, right? It's so beautiful. I know. I've got this second hand from a Taiwanese collector, and I just love it so much. I didn't get the box, but I don't care. I mean, this is just a beautiful display piece. I'm going to get these guys out and put them next to him and do like... I want to do a whole video about the Tuscan Raiders, because I've got so many of them in my collection. Right. Let's... Uh, oh, and by the way, yes, we do still have the 212. And yes, these ones have the uh. black brow line okay and a lot of people are saying i don't ah, my one doesn't mine's just the white helmet i want the other one okay well come and get it then all right let's go over and talk about gi joe yo joe <laughs> all right so uh let's do here first oh we still got the naboo um oh everybody knows about that we still got the starfighter <laughs> come and get one Right, so up here we've got snow job. We've just got some more snow jobs that come in. We're waiting for snow serpent. We sold out. Snow serpent is by far the most popular uh, deluxe figure for Joe, for GI Joe. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I've sold more snow serpents than I did. Yeah. Uh, Range vipers, tunnel rats, uh, just absolutely, just freaking insane. Um, so we've ordered another, like almost a hundred. And we'll get them. But you guys who have already prepaid, trust us. All right? Just be a little bit patient. They're starting to come in already this week, next week. Okay? So you will get your orders. Everything will be fulfilled. Okay? Just have a little bit of patience and trust. Um, down here, we've still got the whole wave. We've got... Uh, actually, got Big Ben. He was 77. And then we've got Tunnel Rat. This one. Firefly. The new Crimson, Viper, uh, Low Light. I think with the fans, I've been watching lots of YouTube channels, like and and uh, the content creators, most of them agree that ton, uh, Low Light is their favourite one. Yeah, from yeah, and then we have got Grunt, uh, Alley Vipers are still in, and also the Desert Snake Eyes as well. Okay, so we got lots of GI Joe still in stock. Don't worry. And uh, if we run out, we will try to get more. And so the, the good thing today, 
um, is that finally we got the Cobra Eels, which I think are exclusives. Are they Walmart? We are Walmart. <laughs> I am the Senate. <laughs> so they come in ship boxes. Wow. Yeah. So it reminds me of the Black Series. The first time I saw a shipper box, which was like about two years ago, the from the Mandalorian, the artillery trooper, the, the guy who's yellow and has the mortar. Yeah. And he has one of these shippers, right? Same. Right. And um, so I'm going to open this now. Where's my box cutter? Over here. Let me grab it <clears throat> before Darth Maul takes it and then starts to kill everyone on the table. Oh. Well, let's have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up one. Have a look inside. Make sure that they're, you know, it's not, um, it's a prank. It's a prank. My supplier sent me, um, Oh, so why no image? So it's funny, it's like they give you a shipper and then it's just like, da -da, that's what they <laughs> There you go. We've got wow, the, we got pretty. the, it's pretty. Yeah. How dare you use that word? He is a soldier. Oh. Murka. Murka. Pretty, G.I. Joe. Hey. You mean. Masculine. Muscular, matchlin, ma matchlin, Michelin, Michelin man. Masculine, macho. He is not. Look at it. Look at the size of his muscles on his legs. He's a swimmer. Yeah. Under the water. Yeah. But very pretty. Go because with, colorful. Go, go play with your My Little Pony. Get out of my face. And uh, so, yeah, we got the Cobra Eels in, and um, I've already had, like, an insane number of people pre-order and pre-pay for this guy, and I've got you covered, all right? Um, the other one is Mole Rats. So, before, they were supposed to turn up on August the 15th. Then, I got very pissed off because they didn't. So, I spoke to the supplier, and he said, I don't know. And then today, they didn't come in. So I sent him another very stern letter and said, where are they? And now I have a confirmation. It is official. They are coming next week. So this is official, everybody. Mole rats. If you've ordered a mole rat, you will get them next week. At eight, it could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. But this is confirmation from my wholesaler, okay? Queenie? It's true. It's true. Okay, it's true. So don't worry if, if you've ordered a mole wrap, you're going to get them, all right? Uh, let's put that here. Oh, by the way, the, um, the code name was Anderson on this one. And they come in this really huge box of 12, 12. pieces. They get 12 pieces because usually Four. the G.I. Joe, you get like these long, elongated boxes and there's only four inside, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, different. So I think, uh, what should we switch to now? Oh! Ahsoka. So here, here's a oh, a little. It's not really controversy. It's just like a, so we've had images like provided by um, the Hasbro team from the live stream, and also on social media. If you go to follow Yakface, um, there's a discussion. We're talking about the the character, the Inquisitor. His name is is Marok or Morak. I think it's Marok. M A. I keep spelling it wrong. Um, we don't know who he or she is, and I think that's good because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but when we saw the first two episodes, he looked like his uh, his suit was very dark, very black, right? When he's fighting with Ahsoka. And suddenly, in the episode yesterday, he's in the cockpit, right? And uh, you get a close-up shot, shot of him, and uh, his suit, his armor, whatever you want to call it, is like a very kind of light grayish with rusty orange lines, which looks very different from when I saw uh, Maroc in that first fight scene. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Like, did they change the costume or maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if I go back and I watch episode one and two again and I, and I pause it and I look carefully, maybe he is kind of a grayish, but uh, people keep pointing that out so but anyway i ha i have to say i don't really care if he's black or gray i think he's a very interesting character and i love the action figure he looks really cool the only thing that i think doesn't look good on the action figure are his knee guards all right they, they're like kind of all floppy 
on his, if you take a close up and have a look at his knees it, I just it just looks kind of weird um, so that's the only thing really but I'm very happy with that we've had a lot of reveals for the Ahsoka line and uh, I think Yakface posted yesterday like there's a whole you put them all together and you get the, the mural on the side so we've got eight so far and I'm pretty sure that there'll be more revealed soon and of course the big one that people are waiting for is Balin because I think he hands down he's probably like out of the baddies the bad guys he's got to be the, the people's most favorite character Balin right Skull um, and I really hope he has a nice soft good soft fabric robe can he have a soft beard as well like mine I, mean, like I could be Balin yeah but my shoulders aren't wide enough <laughs> and I need some hair um, what else can we talk about Black Series is coming September the 15th, Ahsoka, Ahsoka Tano Padawan, Clone Trooper, Magna Guard, and uh, yeah, talking about the Ahsoka Wave, uh, I have a feeling that that's going to be one of Hasbro's surprise, and they're just going to go whoop, boom, and they're not even going to tell us, there's going to be no pre-order list, the wholesalers will not contact us, they'll just go, oh, boom, and we'll just go, come, they'll go, come pick it up. This year. It's that's I think that's what's going to happen, right? Um, it's like someone just pulling the emergency cord on the bus. <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, come pick them up now. Um, and then what else do we need to talk about? Is there anything else? Think Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, GI Joe. Oh, we're looking for Tripwire and who's the other one? Oh, oh, Nunchucks. Uh, and there's that new wave that should come out, but I don't know the date, but there is another wave of G.I. Joe that's been revealed because someone sent me the pictures. I'll see if I can put them up on this video. And uh, yeah, for G.I. Joe stuff, like the last two days, I've just been looking at lots of different U YouTube, YouTube videos and like subscribe, 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 subscribe to this guy and trying to learn as much as I can, all right? Because I'm very, very new to the Joe. Yo, Joe! So yeah. If you guys have any advice for me on how to sell G.I. Joe, because that's my job, okay? I'm not a YouTuber. Um, I'm a seller. I'm a retailer. My, 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 my mission, if you choose to accept it, is to try to fucking... <laughs> it's like Mission Impossible. Dun, 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 dun. Right, I think that's enough for today. Um, yeah. And tomorrow is Friday, and Queenie's going to be getting a lot of new information. Yes? They say. You, you said we have to order Chuckles and Black Cassantin. Yeah. The convention exclusive. And we have to do it today. Today's the deadline. Yeah. But I'm not happy about that. You know why? Delay. Because they was, we were promised they were going to come in September. So then I told everyone September, and they prepaid and pre-ordered. Then they changed it to November, so I had to refund everyone. Well, not everyone, but 90%. Wow, a lot. So I will not be ordering a lot of those, and you will be not, not be getting our money. You know, Hasbro and the wholesalers, they need to understand this. Every time you change the dates and give us the wrong information, you lose money. I don't care. I will keep my money and spend it on some other items. I will, you know, that's, that's no, it's, it's no skin off my nose, all right? The Star Killer, the convention, it's quite a big box, isn't it? Because you've got the two stormtroopers in there. We have been told September. <laughs> so this month, Star Killer should be coming in. And I've had a crazy number of people pre order Star Killer. So please do not let us down. Okay? Right, guys, hit that subscribe button. I'll be back again with some more rambling. So I shall see you soon. May the force be with you. I'm Sabine.